So one recurring question I get asked by a lot of restaurant owner is can I use a retail management POS for my restaurant? My simple answer is I would prefer you use a restaurant management uh, point of sale for your restaurant and use a retail management point of sale for a retail business. In this video, I'll be explaining the major differences between a restaurant management point of sale and a retail point of sale, a retail management point of sale. And I'll be using support point of sale as a basis for that demonstration. So come with me. First, you need to understand that the customer, uh, uh, customer behavior in a restaurant is different from the customer behavior in a, uh, a retail business. Now, in a restaurant, the customer um, usually buys and may not actually go to the till at, at every point of sales to finalize the sales. That means that a customer, usually when you have a sit, a dine-in kind of setup, a customer can buy food, stay and order another meal, and order another meal, and order another meal. But in, in retail management softwares, once somebody buys, it goes to the stills and it completes the sale, and that ends it. So one fundamental thing that this recognizes, which I'm going to demonstrate to you, is how a restaurant management handles that particular customer behavior. Now, in support, you have a customer can actually come in either as a walk-in, which is typically what most uh, people using retail management solution used to manage their restaurants. They treat everybody as a walk-in. So a customer can come in as a walk-in. That means he comes and says, I want to buy burger, um, cheese. They choose the, the kind of um, modifier for it. The topping, say it is this topping, and any add-on that the person wants. And then the, you place the order, and you pay. Now, so this is how most uh, retail management solution actually handles restaurant. However, what we have done here, there are some specific things that have happened. First, you can see that when we did the burger, though you can actually do this one also in a retail management solution, you can choose modifiers into it, but not in this manner, by saying that these are the kind of things and the modifier can be added into it. You can't do such a thing in a um, retail management solution. Another thing that you cannot do in retail management solutions is that uh, in placing order, you cannot, you cannot actually send um, order to both the kitchen and the invoice. This can easily be done in a restaurant management solution, not in a retail management solution. Now, another thing that the, a retail a restaurant management solution would do very well, it is dining in. So when people come to dining, one of the things that happens is that you may have different areas in your, in your restaurant. For example, we have said this will have first floor, reserved area, um, and then the VIP area. So you have different tables. You can have um, different numbers of tables. And this particular software allows us to have different numbers of um, uh, tables in different floors. So if somebody comes in and they settle on table two, for example, you may not label them in terms of um, table one, two, three. Um, though, please note that in support, you can only label them in numerical order. You will put, and then based on that, we are now ordering on that particular table. The advantage of that is that um, orders that are made on that table, let's say this table is covering four people that are seated there, and then you place the order. You can actually send the order. You can both to, uh, if I may show you, the order is going both to the kitchen printer and the invoice. This KOT is the kitchen, and this is the invoice, which is held by the by the cashier that is uh, at the, or the waiter attend to this table. Now, if this table. Uh, makes another order. For example, you can even see 
the number of um, orders that are still running. Uh, you can go back to that table, click on it, modify the order by adding another thing to that table. You can see, um, I can add to that table. I can add as many things to the table as fast the, the um, uh, what do you call it, is still open. The order is still, is still running. I can add again to the table, print it, send it to the kitchen, and it's printed out. Now, one of another thing that a restaurant management software should have, which is one of what we call the standard industry features, is one is um, ability to take orders by the table. Now, Sapat has ability for you to have unlimited number of um, um, tabs that can that can assess and can log in and take order at the table side and complete the order, meaning they can take the order, print um, invoices, and also even receive payments at the table side. Rather than having a complicated um, system where the person goes to the till to pay, which is what you have to do if you are using a restaurant management software. Now, another thing that you will find in restaurant management software that you will not likely see in a uh, retail management software is how the manage inventory. One of the things that you're going to see in Sapad is that inventory is managed in, the, in, in various levels. Now, there is recipe, there are ingredient and sub re recipe, and there are finished goods. Now, finished goods are things like, for example, if you are selling uh, soft drinks, if you are selling alcoholic drinks that say uh, uh, one bottle and all that, it's easily to set up. But one of the things that Sapad and the restaurant software will give to you is recipe. So what is a recipe? Recipe is ability to bring together the ingredient that makes up a particular menu and giving you a cost for that menu. So for example, we, we want to have a strawberry cake. So Sapat is showing us that for us to make a strawberry cake, um, we have the receipt, these are the ingredients for it, biscuit, cake, egg, and chocolate bar. Now, because we have those ones, every of those ingredients in our system, by the time we are putting the quantity we need, Sapad will compute what the cost of um, the actual cost is for us. Now, we can tell Sapad to help us compute what is our, what, how much we want to make on the, on the cost that we, have, uh, that we have sold. So if we want to make 10% of it, we want to make 20% of it, you can give you a suggested price, and then you can you look at it based on um, what it is the, the cost that you can read. Another thing that you have here is wastage. This can't be put in, a re in retail management software. So because in restaurant, usually you have things like um, um, if you buy, for example, a bag of rice, you may, you may lose maybe 5%. 2.2% of it to measuring and all that. And in, in some cases, like you buy uh, flour, some will be used for other things. So you, may, you basically will know how many that will be wasted. Uh, the only thing I will say here as a, as a note is that one of the, we, have, we, we have always had challenge in, in uh, recipe Nigerian, Nigerian dishes because of the cooks. Um, the cooks usually um, are not quick to give us the ratio because some of them their measurement is like, almost like a uh, using rule of thumb but that even at that we have a way of going around that such that you have at least a similar is something similarly that you can use to know how the inventory is working now the beauty of it is that whenever you sell any strawberry cake what sapad would do automatically is to deduct from your inventory, the ratio that you, have, um, that you have assigned to it. So if you bought 10 cakes, 10 biscuits, for example, you're going to remove one. And if you bought 100 kg of flour, it's going to remove 0 0.02 from the 100 kg. So that by the time you do um, 10 um, strawberry cake, 
you can actually know what should be remaining in your uh, inventory. This cannot be done um, in a retail management software. Another thing Sapat does very well, uh, which you may not find in retail management software, is staff setup. Now, in, uh, in a retail business, you have basically maybe a manager and a cashier and maybe an admin person. But in restaurant, you have things like a waiter, you have a cashier, you may even have a delivery boy, you may have a delivery manager, which you can set them up differently, giving them different rights um, to assess the system and what they'll be doing in the system. So a, an admin person may have right to see everything. A call agent, if you are doing an online delivery, may just be able to see the order, may not need to see um, costing and all that. A delivery person may just need to see which order is ready, which order is being processed, and all that. Now, um, another thing that's a part um, as a need, which um, you will not find, I mean, a retail, you will not find in order, uh, you will not find in retail uh, management software, is that there are specific reports that you need, a specialized report that you need if you are running a restaurant business. One of those specialized reports that you need, not just the total sales, but the top selling items and the number, for example, number of canceled orders. Total number of orders and the number of canceled orders. Now, the reason for that is that this is one of those KPIs that used to measure how well, what is happening in the business. You may not get this in, uh, in um, a retail management software as easy as this. Um, you can you also have a staff-wide report. You can, you can see how much each of the staff has made individually um, in the past month. You can see the highest selling items. And if you are having a multi-location setup in Sapad, you can have um, how various locations are doing compared to each other. In terms of marketing, uh, you'll be able to see the total, if you have new customers, how many new customers that you had, the total amount of discount that you have given, um, you will see the, the top customers, people that are actually buying a lot from you, the modifiers that have been sold the more. Um, you can see the table, the most popular table, or should I see the table that is in a position where people tend to sit more and um, buy more. And you can have an area-wise um, kind of um, um, report concerning different areas how they perform concerning the order, in relation to the order. You also have the inventory report, which will give you basically what you have in stock on hand, total amount of waste that you, maybe you have incurred in a particular period or in a month, the purchases that have been made, what are the low um, stock, especially for finished good items that you have, uh, profitable items, and all that. Sapad will give you all this report. And there is a business summary report, which essentially you can use to have an understanding of um, your gross profit margin, um, which will give you basically sales, surcharge that you have collected, um, discount, the taxes that you have collected. If there are wastages, um, you'll be able to see the wastages, the different payment types that you have collected, the cost of goods sold, and um, discount, and all that. That will give you also the sales per uh, staff, what each staff have sold, and the categories of items that have been sold. This gives you a good overview of, of the business, um, um, so to say, a summary report of it. But please note, this is basically giving you um, a gross profit of your business. If you want to know about how your net profit is, which is, for example, if you want to bring in the rent you are paid, the salary you are paying, um, and all the other ones, you also get the KPIs concerning how the business is to performing in a total form, you may need to plug in um, a, another software. And which is why we, are, we can actually help you plug in to zero and then take this data into zero and help you get your overall performance of your business. Now, one of the other things that you should have in a restaurant management software that you may not have in a retail management software add some specific plugins. Um, for example, in Sapad, you have an online a delivery manager. The, a delivery manager will tell you um, when home deliveries have been done, 
which orders are ready, the ones that are waiting for pickup. And this is where you need a delivery uh, boy or manager to know the orders that have been um, done. And Sapad, interestingly, come with a um, delivery um, a dispatch cream. So the dispatch cream will tell you what is on which table, what is ready, and what is not. This can be put in your kitchen area, and they easily will just click that it is ready, and um, somebody comes to pick it up, and the delivery, the delivery goes to uh, pick it up. So you have this beautiful in support that allows you. And there's another thing in support that is interesting, which is the token screen. Um, I don't know if you have been to, um, say, Domino's, and uh, during service, they are telling you some, se um, some items is remaining 10 minutes, some five minutes, and all that, keeping the customer abreast about when their orders will be ready. Support does this wonderfully. So you can use that to also um, serve your customers and telling them where the orders are at every time. Now, support also allows you to keep tab. It has a beautiful CRM that you can use to keep tab on your customers. Um, and uh, in case they, they send, they uh, place an order, if you have had contact with them before, you can easily um, use it to trace them and take their order. Let me demonstrate this. So assuming we have a customer that has worked in before, and then we have placed the order, we can easily use that to take the order of the customer. And um, So another thing support has beautifully is that you can actually activate an online order in support. Meaning that, you know, one, that's one of the unique things concerning um, restaurant. And because these days, because of COVID, um, it's easy in support for you to create an online store. An online store that you can easily sell to different business, different people via your online business. So with these few points, I've been able to explain to you the differences between um, a restaurant management software and a retail management software. Thank you.